My name is Paul Keating. I'm an architect from Cork. We design uh, homes and quality homes for people not only in Ireland but um, internationally. I think you're trying to improve people's environment, uh, create something that, that people, when they start using the building, they feel that there's something special about the home. It should always be an experience, I think. Today, we're just beyond Crosshaven, uh, which is right down the south of Cork. We're looking across at Roaches Point, which is basically the entrance into Cork Harbour. Uh, it's an amazing site, an amazing site for a couple of reasons. It's elevated, it's got an amazing view. The brief was maximise the views, energy efficient home, and they wanted a dark building, uh, which was really unique. The challenge for this site was how do you accent or how do you complement a dark building and how I tried to achieve that was I introduced this idea where the glass and a couple of white walls gave the impression that they were actually holding up a dark building and that was the kind of key to it. I think another kind of really important part of that overall design was the uh, Valencia stone clad wall uh, but when it's wet it's almost the same colour as the dark part of the building. It provides contrast with the dark render, it provides texture, it's a frame for the entrance to one side. That one wall also protects the corner of the building from heavy, heavy weather. It also actually creates a breeze to light and stops overheating. So that one wall actually does about five or six different jobs and I love that. The counterbalance with the dark walls was um, uh, it's actually a koya, which is a sustainable timber. Timber in coastal locations, and if you think of timber boats and timber decks, if you choose the right sort of timber with the right sort of protection, as they age, just get better and better. That timber goes this beautiful light blonde color. The house facing east means that you, you've got a lot of challenges. You're trying to draw in light from the south. There's a house to one side of you, you're trying to draw in light from the west, but there's houses to the west. What I found over the years is that all of the problems or constraints are actually the things that will probably contribute to making it a good design. The front of the building is almost flat, and, and normally what I try to do is create sort of recesses and indentations to create these covered areas. Um, but because of the nature of the building line, if you were to sit out of the front of the house where the view is, you're very much exposed with your neighbours. What I tried to do was uh, create a covered area on the west side of the building that you can see through the main living areas and you can see back out towards that amazing view. The horizontal nature of the building is definitely a reflection of the horizon to the east. Uh, and when you stretch the building across the site, that's an opportunity for all of the main living areas, all of the kids' bedrooms, the master bedroom, all now get to enjoy this amazing unobstructed view of, of the entrance into Cork Harbour. The challenge was then to kind of create an entrance. I think a house like this doesn't have to have a traditional front door in the middle of the house. What I was trying to convince the clients of is that is not to put the entrance in the front of the house towards the heavy weather, towards the sea, um, to try and make the front of the house completely unobstructed, which meant that um, the entrance to the site is off to one side. This one canopy was an entrance, a place to sit, uh, and it's also a screen of privacy against your neighbours, which were a lot higher. So that was the reason why we did that kind of over extended canopy and in fact the curve in the building is actually intentional in that it allows you to drive around so that you're looking at your main entrance and I use that as a design feature for the house. I wanted to mirror that when you walk into the master bedroom so when you open the door you don't initially see the view but there's an obvious curved wall to the right hand side which does nothing but lead you towards that view.
My favorite room is the kitchen. Um, I just think because it's in such a hinge, what you have is you have this kitchen dining area that is dual aspect. It has glazing and sliding doors on one side of it. It has glazing and sliding doors on the other side. And when you open up east and west sliding doors and you sit in the covered patio to the west, that, that kitchen is part of the landscape. The, the water, grass, kitchen, and then landscape on the west, it's all considered, I think, one.